guys welcome back to sisters talk tv this is going to be we're just going to have a talk today we're just going to chit chat all about why monique quit we're just going to talk but before we get started please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel also check us out on instagram at sisters talk tv please please continue if you have watched our video please support us by with your pretty much with your subscription also like let us know what you think also your thoughts and opinions we love to hear um what you think about you know the reviews or the show we should just have a conversation so let's go ahead and talk about why monique quit was it a good idea that she quit um what led to her quitting so Okay, so Real Housewives of Potomac Reunion Part 3 came on on Sunday. And it was a 90-minute reunion episode. So there was a lot of things that went down so far. Um, it was a it was an okay reunion. We still have a lot of questions that we have to ask. My views and my thoughts have changed since Part 3 of the reunion. Please, if you have not watched our review on Part 3 of Real Housewives of Potomac Reunion, please check it out. Um, it's here on our YouTube. Just check it out. Check out the review. Listen to my thoughts and opinions on that. But since then, my definitely things happen. You know, things happen. Opinions change. And that is okay. You know, that is okay. That is why this is, this, that's why conversations happen. Commentary happens. And, you know, opinions change so let's go ahead and talk about this so Monique was on um she was on well she had a live show kind of with Riley Knox um on her on her YouTube platform Tea with Monique because she just released a new video and then she came on to all about the tea here on YouTube where they have like a panel they do a really good job um, just kind of analyzing the show as well so they had Monique on and Monique you know she was just having a conversation with the panel and she said that you know she explained why she decided to quit Real Housewives of Potomac now she said one it had all pretty much it was about her family you know um, she didn't really appreciate how about you know everything about the plot and how they were trying to cover up Giselle they were really trying to cover up Giselle and saying that she it wasn't brought up on camera even if it wasn't brought up on camera why would you bring up an, an innocent child an innocent child who did nothing who was an un, you know innocent child unborn child who did nothing to you why would you even bring him up into this whole conversation all for a storyline guys like ever since part three like my whole outlook on Giselle although she is definitely the antagonist of the show like has just been I don't even know what to think of Giselle anymore it's really disgusting and I well we will get to that we'll get to that so she pretty much, you know, has confirmed it. She said that, you know, she didn't really like how um, they made her look. There, no one was taking accountability. And just for her peace of mind, she just decided to quit. She did not get fired or get demoted. You know, she got her contract, but she just said after part three, you know, she's just done. You know, she's done with the show. You know, they asked her if she, if she would consider coming back. She said, no, she won't consider coming back she wouldn't consider coming back so i don't know guys um i'm really sad to hear that monique is leaving real housewives of potomac one of the reasons why i actually started watching real housewives of potomac was because of monique you know just seeing her on the show um i really did like her and candace's dynamic duo and also karen as well too but it's it's really i'm really sad just to kind of see her off of the show i won't see you know she won't be on next season season six um but i feel like she made a good choice family always comes first and she chose her family she chose her peace of mind she chose her kids she chose her marriage so we cannot be upset we can't be upset um we cannot be upset because of the choice that she decided to make yes we would love to see monique on the show we would love to see how everything plays out but once again she's probably i don't even know how they're going to the storyline is going to be next season without Monique because Monique played a huge part 
on this season. So Monique said that she actually wanted to quit mid-season, but you know, they were, um, you know, Andy talked to her and she was just kind of like, um, you know, uh, well, we will share your journey. And I don't think they did a really good job sharing Monique's healing journey as much as they did. A, they tried to do sharing Candace's healing journey, which I don't think Candace is fully healed 100%. But, you know, I guess it takes time to get there. Um, so far, what I think, I mean, I'm happy for Monique, whatever choice that she does decide to make. Um, would I watch season? Yeah, so season six, if, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be watching. I'm not sure. I'm just, it just depends on how things go i think they do have to make a lot of changes for season six i honestly feel like giselle should be demoted to a friend of the show because giselle literally in the at the reunion she sat there and lied through her teeth and i'm so glad that chris samuel decided to apply pressure on giselle to make to hold her accountable because obviously bravo is not holding Giselle accountable for what she did and what you know her part on the fight with Monique and Candace and there's a way yes yeah, sometimes we all love a good villain a good antagonist on the show but when it becomes too much and you continuously you, you lie you don't hold yourself accountable you say oh nothing happened and then you gas light things it just it's, it's it's just sick, you know, and I think that Bravo also played, they played a big role in this as well too, in the production, because I feel like production, in order to make a really good reality show, the production has to remain neutral, show the audience everything that has happened, the good, the bad, that is why, this is why, this is what a reality show is all about, stop creating narratives. Like, if you want something to be scripted, just say, you know, like, give them a, um, I guess, a storyline, give them a script to play. Just say it, you know? So, don't call it a reality show. Just say this is a scripted show. So, I feel like production, they have to remain neutral and stop, like, creating storylines, stop creating narratives. Like, I honestly feel like, why didn't they show us what Giselle said or what she did? Why did they cut that out? It, again, it's about, all about playing a narrative. It's all about playing a script. And honestly, it's not right. And I feel like all of this, what production was doing, Bravo was doing, also Andy, played a role on Monique's decision. And it says a lot about Bravo as a, as a, um, as a TV station, you know? Like, how, how do you lose so many housewives all within one year? Tanya Sams, Denise Richards, and now Monique Samuels, you know, people who play a big role on the show and that have a good, you know, that are well liked. I think that that's something that Bravo really needs to um, look into. And also, I can't, I can't forget about Lamethia Leaks, Nene Leaks. So, I don't know what is going on. I definitely think they need to just take it back to the, their roots and stop playing the narrative, stop making people, you know, favoring people. It's not right. It takes away the beauty of reality television and the authentic, authenticity of reality television. Um, and I also need to mention that Andy, what he had on, he had a video today on Instagram why... Um, I guess any of the Real Housewives, they never make, um, what is it, one of the awards or something, I think it's like the best show awards or something like that, and I'm just thinking, well, I wonder why, <laughs> I wonder why, although Real Housewives, the Real Housewives franchise is a good show, wonder why they never make the top list or number one or whatever. Um, I can't think of like the um, the list, like the name of the list, like what is it for? I'm not sure of the name, but I will definitely, you know, I'll find it, probably link it or something. So I wonder why. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Monique made a good decision um, for leaving the show? 
who do you blame? Do you blame the ladies? Do you blame Bravo? What do you think Bravo needs to do next season? And also, will you be watching? Let us know. Um, thank you guys so much. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Once again, check out all of our videos. Thank you guys so much. Peace, love, and blessing.